There is no door number four. This is the only way. <laughs> What's going on guys? So I just got back from this film and honestly there's nothing really much to say about this movie. Like the cast, like the lead actress and her boyfriend, like at the very begin beginning of the movie their acting was... Uh, but outside of that, I mean the cast is sufficient I suppose. I mean I'm not really looking for an Oscar-winning performance. Uh, I, I guess I guess they're sufficient the cast. I mean, there's there's never a point in time where someone was acting and it gave me like physical pain. So the acting's okay. The cinematography's fine. Jump scares. They don't scare me, but it okay. I, I I lied. There there was there was one there was one jump scare that actually got me. The, the only thing that sort of really irked me about the movie was characters making like just blatantly dumb decisions. Like this woman at the beginning where she's turning the light on and off. She's just like. She did it so many times. I was like, look, on the first time, okay, the first time, I I turn on the lights. I turn them off, I, I see a figure, I turn it back on, and I turn it back on. I am, first off, I might just piss my pants. <laughs> and then I'm, I'm running my ass out of there. Like, I, I'm jumping through a window. She, she goes back to the office to see some guy. She's like, there's someone out there. Like, if, if I would have just jumped on that dude's lap and he would be like, hey, what, what are you doing? She, <laughs> if I was there, I would be like, there's something out there. I'm not leaving here without you. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not like it's not like the story is incoherent. It's not like any character makes a decision that's so dumb that I'm just like, oh, my God. The, the movie's kind of just whatever. It's just a stereotypical horror film that seems like the directors just went on a binge a binge watch of like the conjuring and insidious movies or something all right i mean not something i've seen recently so i guess kudos for that but the movie kind of treats her like she's just this crazy ass person that we're just supposed to be like oh well mother's crazy okay on with the rest of the story so when she there's not like this big emotional moment it's just like Oh man, she's. I guess the hauntings have stopped. So yeah, I don't know. The movie, it's just it's very meh to me. But there's there's nothing about this movie that, you know, it's not painful to watch. At least not for me. Personally, I'm feeling like a five, five out of ten on it. Uh, I feel like this year I have like broken a record for giving out five and sixes out of ten. <laughs> but you know. What about you?